Oh, lost it. And a nice bass on. Got one. Ooh. The pipe. This guy. Nope, all you got it. Oh, it's a perch. It's that time. Cade's favorite time. All right, all right, all right. We are back out for another canoe camping fishing adventure. Um, I'd want to say I'm solo, but I'm kind of dolo, I guess you could call it, because I've, I've got double solo people. I've got myself and Cade. We're here on Middle Saranac Lake. We plan on paddling up to Weller Pond to do some pike fishing, so we've never, I've never been to Weller Pond. Look forward to going up there and read a lot about it. So here we go. You got that little baby there, huh? Hissing at us. Let's get away from this road noise. And here it is. Opening up in the middle of Saranac Lake. Got something here. Oh, a little perch. I'm gonna try to catch that perch. I'm gonna try to catch him. Okay. Nice. Oh. Oh, lost it. Had a nice bass on. Dang it. We're just on the back side of Middle Saranac Lake right now. And come fish over here for a little bit and then get over into Hungry Bay. Got one. Oh, Ooh. It's, a pike. it's a pike too. Awesome. Nice. Right on the whopper plopper. <laughs> he went he went full crazy mode for a second there huh no no we'll put him back got this guy to revive looks like a good probably 23 incher nothing fat we want the 30 plus been letting him revive in the net he swallowed that whopper plopper so I've been letting him revive in the net a little bit he's doing pretty good so don't think we're gonna have to keep this one we we're gonna keep him and eat him if he doesn't revive but we'll see Back here in this nice little weedy area, I'm trying to get Kate on a pike. It's really my ultimate goal. I did caught a fish, but I was dead. Yeah, yeah, he had one on, but he lost it. It's all right. Beautiful area back here. The views from this lake are awesome. Still cruising along. We're about to go check this campsite out over here. Always nice to have a picnic table. This is probably one of the coolest things. So simple. But what's even better is 
the view. I mean, action camera just doesn't pick up the view as well as the old eyeballs do, but it is nice. Alright, finish the tour. Let's check out the fire pit. Still cooking great. Left a bit of wood. Not a bad sight. Those logs are really slippery when you go to jump over and be careful, bud. Really nice bay back here. That's it for this campsite. Load up and head up to Weller now. Even though it's really nice over here. And yes, please, as Cade says, don't forget to subscribe. Not unsubscribe. Not unsubscribe. Subscribe. Yeah, even better. Definitely don't unsubscribe. Pretty please. Well, as much as I'd like to stay here, because this bay is known for pike, I'm gonna I wanna go up the Weller Pond. We we really want to get up there and get to that lean too. Paddle up this little stream here. I love going to new places. It's definitely my favorite thing to do. I enjoy going to places that I catch fish, that I know I can catch fish. However, I enjoy going to new places. I mean, we've caught a few fish already. So I'm pretty content, but either way, if we didn't catch fish, I still would have enjoyed this trip so far just with being in such a nice, new, beautiful area. A lot of mountains in here. View-wise, this is it's really, really nice. <laughs> My man. at the mouth of Weller Pond here. Looks very pikey in here. Looks pikey. It's like glass out right now. Perfect. We're gonna go unload and then go do some fishing. Enjoy this beautiful day. Oh boy. Something grabbed this whopper plopper. What is that? Gotta be a pike. Yeah. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> I think the loon's mad. Don't be catching pike in my territory. This guy. It's a good. Oh man, that's probably. I'm gonna have to measure my boat right here and take a look at it, but I'd say a good 30 incher. He swallowed that hook, so I had to put the jaws on him and really get in there. They are killing that whopper plopper. There he goes. Awesome. Yes. Just as we pulled in here. This loon's screaming at us right now. He literally splashed me right in the face. <laughs> he splashed you right in the face, huh, bud? Oh, let's I get this other line in. I don't want to catch that pike. That was I don't want to catch awesome. Him. Oh, my gosh. That really was awesome. What a good catch. Really shallow. 
I'll bet you there's some pike right over in there too. Kate and I just found our site. Oh, coming in hot to this rock. Sorry about that. We were fortunate enough to have that tailwind paddling in here, which never happens, but um, yeah, we're here. I'll give you a tour here in a second. Let me just get us all the way into the site. Looks like a great spot to fish for pike as well. Crazy good view. This is gonna be epic. Oh, nice, a picnic table. Yeah, I wanted to be at a site that had a lean-to because of the rain tomorrow. Wood. Oh, that's a nice, nice block of wood. Oh, oh sweet. So Plenty of fire starter. Huge fire pit. But this. Yo, Dad, there's some survival stuff in there. Awesome, buddy. This is awesome. This looks... Pikey. Is there? Hopefully they're slaying fish with it. Hang on, buddy. Let's see how slippery these rocks are. Whoa. 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 All right, let's see. take a little break and then we're gonna go back to it we're all set up here at camp it's about lunch time did a little bit of fishing haven't had any luck it's midday so i think everything all the fish are out deep but we'll see this evening And grab a little bit more wood. We're gonna start just a small fire to cook some hot dogs for lunch today. I'm gonna move the picnic table and set up right here. I brought my big tent just in case it was super buggy out and we needed to get away from them for a little bit. Got the Sierra Designs air mattress. It's awesome, it's got a built-in pillow for the price. It really, really, really is awesome. It rolls up uh, into pretty, pretty small. I'll, I'll show it to you once it gets rolled up. I'll put a picture up of it real quick. But it's um, it's fairly lightweight for its size, and we didn't have to do any portage, and so we brought all the good stuff out for this trip. But it's time to get this fire going and cook up these hot dogs, and then head out and go do some paddling. Fire time. to get that good coal base and then we're gonna throw these uh, I've got some hot dogs for Cade and I brought some hot dogs? yep hot dogs hot got some cheddar brats hot hot but once this burns down a little bit more we're gonna grab those I relax for a little bit and then we're gonna head out for this this evening bite all right so I heard some ruffling in the leaves over here 
And what do you know? There's a little frog friend chilling inside the fire pit. Got so him. Cade's gonna rescue our little buddy. Go put him back in the water. No! Oh! Okay. Guys, turn the camera. Look. Look at Let's see. There he is. Oh, those look good. Whoa. Let's see here. Alright. Woo! Okay. They all made it on the plate without falling off. How many people have had their hot dogs roll off the plate or something like that while they're camping or the, the grate? Happens all the time, right? Trust me. Look. Oh. He just carved his whole entire thing for like an hour. <laughs> lunch is served. Keeping it simple today. Hey, I found dinner. This is lunch, man. Dinner, we're going to have uh, fried rice with some chicken. Okay, and I are just chilling in the tent for a little bit. We've tried fishing from shore, from this rock here for a little while, but no luck. So we're gonna relax for a minute and then uh, head out to the deeper waters and head back over to that area that we previously traveled through. And we're gonna go check a couple of the other campsites out as well. So we tried to come out and do some fishing, but it is so windy with Kate up front that it's like, he's like a sail up there almost, so. It's just easier for me to double blade paddle it and him to sit right there and we're going to paddle into the wind like this and then I'll shoot out to the middle of the lake and we'll float back in or pond and float the, use the wind and float right back to our campsite. So you just got to ride like that for a little bit. I'll come check this campsite out over here real quick. Not bad. This is an island site. Yeah. Let's go take a look over here real quick. Oh, that breeze feels good. It's a good place to go swimming right here, buddy. We're off again. We just left that little island campsite. Went out there for a bit, ate a few snacks and fished from shore there. Still no luck. Kate and I stopped to visit another campsite and when we got off, found this little guy here. But we'll leave him alone. Home sweet home. Kate and I are just chilling. He wanted a fire, so I let him build and start the fire, which he did all by himself. I didn't record it, but did a good job. We got a little worm harness rig out in the water right now. Well, we're just going to chill, eat some snacks until around like 7 and then we'll head out and start doing a little bit of evening fishing and after that we'll come in and start dinner. Alright, so the bells went off. I didn't even take time to go right, guys. grab the camera. We got a bull head in this net. I netted him. He will be over then. Yep. All right, let's get yeah. this guy out back in the water. Is he coming out, Dad? Yeah, he just keeps going into the bottom. Go, buddy. Nice. You just don't work. That was awesome, man. Huh? At least we caught something with it. Good cast, man. That's all right. Just reel right in. Oh no, you didn't. You're good. Oh. That's all right. So. <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> you fell in the water. Let's see if we can catch some more of those guys. You did. Good. Okay, and I are just going for a walk on this trail. Going to the other side of our where our, from where our campsite is. All right, so we just walked around. Our campsite is just straight over there. Dude, we're on. I'm gonna cast a few times real quick. No luck this afternoon, and it was pretty windy out, so. We didn't head out in Big Sherman. That boat is, is really long. It is a like a sail out in the wind if you don't have somebody who's able to paddle up front and cage. It's just hard for them to do any considerable paddling up there. So we're getting a fire going and uh, gonna go ahead and grub. All right, a little bit of speedy sauce. Fried rice is done. Let's mix it in this big bowl here. Cade's already chilling in the tent, so he wants to go in there and eat, which is that's fine with me. So we're gonna eat dinner, chill in there, grab some cookies, probably go to bed early. I've been up since three, Cade's been up since like four, so it's been a long day for us. Bon appetit. Bon appetit. Mm. Looks good to eat. Yeah, it's gonna be good, man. Dude, is it hot? Nope. Dude. Perfect. Mm. How is it, buddy? Good. I passed the Cade test. How's the chicken? Chicken and rice good? All right, mm -hmm. double thumbs up. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, let's grow up, man. Well, look what I came back to. I went out to go clean everything up and said his name a few times and realized he crashed out. So that's it for today. We'll see you guys in the morning. Good morning. We have got some rain. Holy cow. It's coming down pretty good. We're gonna make some hot chocolate and I'll cook some breakfast and we'll be hanging out in the lean to for the most part this morning and a good good chunk of the afternoon from what the weather report said yesterday. But it's the way it goes sometimes. Hey, What's up, bud? Okay. Yep, let me come get you ready. We'll get your rain stuff on. Oh, okay. Perfect. Made some hot chocolate, some marshmallows for Cade, and I'm gonna 
heat this water back up real quick, get my coffee pressed. And then go do a little bit of fishing from shore. Cheers, bud. Warming you up? <laughs> I feel it. And it, it burns, but at the same time, it's yummy. It feels good too, huh? <laughs> Just put the rig in the water. You got it, bud? Oh, he's stuck. Hang on. I'm gonna have to help you. He got wrapped around that tree. Hang on. Yep, pull it up. Nope, oh, you got it. Oh, it's a perch. Awesome, buddy. All right, hang on real quick. Hang on. Well, he shook off. I was trying to set the camera up on the tree so I could come help Cade. Um, but we're gonna we're gonna get all set up here. We'll get some more, and once we get a smaller perch like that, we're gonna string him up and try to catch a big pike later. So let's go. <laughs> all right. So we decided to put a tarp up so that we could uh, use our little box stove and build a fire. So we're gonna just process down some of the smaller wood here. More manageable pieces. I probably broke this one by hand, but. All right, bell went off. We caught this guy. We're gonna go ahead and rig him up as live bait now and try to catch a big old pike. Picking up some breakfast. We're gonna have some bacon with uh, sweet cream pancakes. It's just sprinkling out a little bit. All's good, bud? Yeah. I got my, my side chef here, assistant chef. Bacon's all done. Let's see that other plate, buddy. You're welcome. Thank you, sir. Cover it up, and it's pancake time. Oh. All right, buddy. Tell us how they are. Sweet cream pancakes. Looks like these are olives. <laughs> Not bad. Not bad? Oh, freaking good. All right, all right. I'll take that. I'll take that. Good stuff, man. Well, let me make mine up and I'll grub with you. Uh-huh. Not much going on today. No, no more luck on the fish. Those couple of perch this morning, but that's about it. Stopped raining, so we're just drying some things out. Get my boots dried out a little bit here, socks, and uh, yeah, we're just kind of relaxing for a little bit for lunch. We are eating leftovers. I was going to do some top ramen and make some peanut butter and honey sandwiches, but we're going to eat this and then have s'mores instead. And uh, after this, we'll go out. Hopefully, it's, it's supposed to be clearing up. There's a couple of other passing rain showers, but for the most part, I think we're going to be good. So, should be able to go out and get, get some decent evening fishing in and... Trying to get a pike for the day. Let's grub it up, huh, Bubba? Yeah. What do you say? Let's grub. Let's do it. It's that time. Cade's favorite time. He's been waiting for this moment. It's time for some s'mores. You've been waiting patiently, huh, bud? Alright. Cade started off with... The Reese's 
peanut butter bar on graham crackers with the marshmallow. I didn't bite into it. You didn't bite into it? Oh. And I got the chocolate mm. chip cookie. I bite into it. Mm. How was yours, bud? Hey, Dad, I look like an ice cream sandwich. Mm hmm. That looks like an ice cream sandwich. Mm. You need to try Reese's. Oh, my. No go, huh? You need to try it. I'm not kidding. So good. Wow, that's good. <laughs> no more. Thumbs up. We gave him thumbs up. Delicious. Mmm. That's what I mean. You look like um a square. <laughs> it kind of does, huh? Yeah, but you know how it burns? It like you know. Turns different shapes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it looks like a big fat square. <laughs> you know, you know what? Hey, Dad, you know I like what? that about the big ones. What? If you wrote the very big ones, it makes juice. It makes um fill in inside. It's got a lot of marshmallow filling in there, huh? Yeah, I love marshmallow. Ooh. All right, this time I am trying the Reese's Pieces bar, and Cade wanted the same one he had last time, so. Must have been really good. Yeah. I'll let you know. All right, let me give the taste test on this. Mmm. Wow. That's amazing. Oh, yeah. I, I mean, I love peanut butter and chocolate as it is. I gotta say, that's the best s'more I've ever had. <laughs> mm-hmm. Of course, this is where about to want to go out and paddle. Sprinkle uh, is picking up. All right, we'll wait it out for a little bit. Let's see what happens. Back to raining again. It's all right though. We have this area tarped off, and I'm happy I brought this little firebox. It's a lot, a lot easier having a fire in this thing you're not burning a ton of wood and it provides it puts off plenty of heat i dried my boots and socks on it earlier so we're just gonna hang out and wait for the majority of the rain to pass and then make our way out in the water and see if fishing is any better than it is here on shore because we're we're getting skunked this afternoon. It's relaxing and peaceful though, sitting under this tarp listening to the rain. Finally, we got a bass. Finally, I came down here really just to reel. I, was, I had a uh, a rig sitting out in the water and I was gonna come bring that in cause it was raining and we were gonna go get in the tent and chill for a little bit and I thought I'd cast a few times. So finally, about time, been waiting. Just talking about that. I know, I was just talking about how I couldn't believe we haven't caught any more of these out of here. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Let's put them back here. Yeah, one of my friends, so see them. You want to see them? Yeah, I'm there. Put the camera. All right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes, bud. Finally. Yes! We got it, huh? Yes! Yeah, don't we were on it in. Finally! We finally got some sunshine. It's about 6.30 right now. We're all loaded up to head out and go fishing. 
camp all stowed away. Really helped putting this tarp up. Hung out in this beast all day. And then when we get back, we get this big old pile of firewood. We probably won't even burn all that. Try to see, save some for the next folks. But we're going to go out and try to go catch our daily pike. Let's see. Extremely excited. Can't wait to get out here right now. Let's go. Wow. I cannot even explain how good it feels to be out on the water in some sunshine after spending a whole day locked down by the rain. I mean, we weren't we weren't locked down. We were we had a good a good time. We were still fishing and but it was too hard to get out in the canoe. So we're gonna we're gonna head out. Yep, yep. Well well they at this point they already watched. They already saw what we caught. But we're hoping we we got maybe it is it was it was we got a perch a bass a couple perch this morning a bass and we're hoping to get a pike for the day another beautiful day in the adk is that a hawk yeah that looks like a hawk The calm after the storm right now. It's really beautiful back here. No fish yet though, which is crazy. Looks so fishy. Come back in this bay back here and do some fishing. Got this little perch here. Nice, buddy. Yeah. Everyone, leave a like. Leave a like if you think I can catch more fish. <laughs> yeah. I'm just up here checking out this other campsite. Guess we come back here again. This is nice. Good open view. 
lot of room. Mm-hmm. Nice, not bad. Not bad. The landing down here is really nice. It's got, it's all sand, so if you want to go swimming, this would definitely be a good campsite. Well, Kate and I paddled this entire lake. It only coughed up, coughed up a, a couple of those pike. I, I missed a nice fish. It was crazy. I literally just went to go grab the line and I seen it pop out and take it. It couldn't have been any worse time for me to go reel the line. I think I made him miss it because it was just sitting there. But it's all right. We're going to head back now and, and start a fire. Relax. Enjoy the nice calm night that we're going to have tonight. And dry off, but well, yeah, we'll see you guys back at camp. Just wait for that to. Oh, yeah, that's perfect. Nice little coal base. We're gonna throw some sirloin boogers on real quick. Boogers, boogers. Kate ended up falling asleep, <laughs> didn't even eat dinner. I'm going to get him put away and put to bed for the night. I'll finish cleaning everything up. And we uh, we plan on getting up pretty early. Packing up really, really quick and just having some hot chocolate coffee. Some granola bars in the morning and hitting the water so we can fish on the way out. That's it for tonight. We'll see you guys in the morning. Top of the morning. It's about five o'clock. Gonna finish getting packed up here. That way we have plenty of time to do some fishing on the way out. Press for the trip. That's it for this campsite. Put the picnic table back, the fire poured out, and we are going to be paddling out into some fog. No problems, we're just skirting the shoreline, so let's hope we can slay a few fish on the way out of here. Got the old Tank loaded up, call it Sherman. A lot of gear in there. Let's rock, buddy. Here we go. Fog is thick. It's like a cloud rainbow almost. No fish. Crazy. Thought we'd get a fish on the way out. It's all good though. Beautiful back in here. Didn't have any luck in that bay.
as calm as it gets out right now. We didn't get fully skunked. We got about a two inch bass. <laughs> this is where we're getting into the car here, but we'll keep fishing and see what we get. Unfortunately, all good things must come to an end. Even though we didn't catch any nice fish today. That's all right. The beautiful paddle out. One of the the best paddles I've had, honestly. No tailwind, but no headwind either. Just like, just glass out. A few clouds came in to block that sun. And it was perfect. I appreciate you watching. If you like our videos, please give it a like. And uh, if you enjoy this kind of content, please subscribe. It was a good trip with my son, Kate out here. Yeah. Until next time, you can hear the cars there. That's it. Take care and be well.